Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew Fox. This is the Andrew Fox Music Channel. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you that you're probably using too much distortion. Let's get into it. So I remember back in my early aught days of playing guitar back in 2005, 2006, and I remember being on my Line 6 Spider 2 on the Insane, the Red Insane, gain turned up all the way, treble turned up all the way, bass all the way down, just going for the grittiest, rockiest, dirtiest sound I could get because I thought that would make me sound better. Alas, it did not. Flash forward, you know, 12, 15 years later, and I realized I was using way too much distortion when I was practicing, when I was playing, and it makes me think probably are a ton of other people as well. Here's what I mean. By playing with less distortion and on a cleaner setting, it makes me really pay attention to the notes that I am playing, the notes I am hearing, the notes I am not playing, the notes I'm playing by accident, and it makes me more accountable for each and every note that I'm playing, rather than just a splur of notes in distortion where I can kind of sort of get by playing a riff. Playing clean makes me accountable for all the notes that I play and all the mistakes that I make, and it makes me more conscious of the fact that I'm trying to practice and play without mistakes, and makes me a better guitar player. If you practice better, you will play better. Now, this doesn't mean that there is not a time and a place for playing with distortion, there definitely is. I'm just trying to get across the point that that time is not all the time. There is a time to dial back in the gain, crank up the clean, crank up the clean, that sounds funny, but just really hear what your guitar is telling you and not the levels of gain and fuzz and distortion that you have on there. So if you're a player and you always find yourself practicing with distortion super high, gain super high, try cranking it back. Slow down, crank down the distortion, really hear yourself, hear your notes, let the guitar speak to you in its pure clean setting. And you might find that you get some more out of your practice time, maybe. I know I certainly have. Trying to learn some crazy Polyphia songs, I realized that I couldn't really hear what I was doing. And when I turned down the gain, turned off the distortion, and just really let my guitar speak, I got a lot better results in my practice time. <laughs> Stuff like that. Sounds a lot better clean. Also, I apologize if you can hear the disc sander going on outside. One of my roommates is doing some projects. So sorry about that if you can hear that, that noise. But last point I will make is by playing with less distortion, it forces you to really lean in and tap into the idea of tone being in the fingers and how if you want more of a raw, more of an attacky sound, you gotta pick a little harder. You gotta rely on your guitar instead of the amplifier. Again, I'm not saying that distortion is bad or that there's no place for distortion because there absolutely is. I love distortion. I think it's great, but I was relying on it way too hard as a crutch. And I think if you're watching this video, maybe you have too at some point in time. So don't be afraid of practicing clean, even on solos, even on songs that have, have a bit of an edge to them. Don't be afraid to practice clean. Thank you so much for the view. As always, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Next stop is 1,000 subscribers. Can't get there without you. Also check out the merch. We got Make Music Merch on the Andrew Fox Merch Store, link in the description. Also, I recently become an affiliate with Grow Now, who is a company that helps you grow your Instagram platform. I'll leave a description, I'll leave a link in the description with my affiliate code. Uh, I think you get a certain percent off their course on how to grow your Instagram audience. I think it's a great thing. So check it out. All the links will be in the description. And until next time, guys, make music.